five, you will see they are talking about two languages, mathematics, art education, physical education. Along with that, there is a new subject called a TWAU. What is this TWAU? It is nothing but your EVS. What you are teaching in EVS nowadays, it is a combination of little bit of science and some part of uh, social science. You combine together, you can call it at EVS. Now, in future, it will be called as the world around you. TWAU is the world around you. Now, if you go to middle school, three language, which we are still using nowadays also in classes six, seven, and eight, we are using the three language formula. Mathematics is there, social science is there, science is there, physical education is there, art education is there. This is common, uh, what we are using nowadays. Only one addition here is VE. This VE is not vocational education. This VE is uh, not value education, it is vocational education. Vocational education they have introduced from class 6. It will continue till class 12 depending upon the selection of the bacha, bacha want to take or not. Now class 9th and 10th, they are talking about 3 plus 7 formula and class 11th and 12th, they are talking about 2 plus 4 plus 1 formula. What is this 3 plus 7 formula? or 2 plus 4 plus 1 formula, I will take in my next slides. Any confusion related to subjects from pre-nursery to class 8th, if any one of you have any confusion on this, I will be happy to take that question. And it will be better if we can talk and discuss the thing. If you have any confusion related to subject selection from, yes, Anil sir, my pleasure. What is the meaning of PE in uh, class 6, 7 and 8, sir? Physical education, sir. Physical, Physical education. Physical. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Now, I am moving to the next slide. Now, if you see the same, they have uh, given this on page number 62. I have uh, tried to cover the page number also, so can you can relate my slides with the original document. These pictures are not made by me. These pictures I have taken from the original document of 600 pages. Beautifully, they have uh, created and they have written what level which type of pedagogy, which pedagogy you have to use while teaching. If you see at the foundation stage, they are talking about play and activity-based learning. At preparatory stage, they are talking about play, discovery, discovery they have added here, and activity-based learning. If you go to middle stage, they are talking about conceptual and experimental learning in science, mathematics, social science, and even experiments. But you have to experiment that thing means learning by doing. And if you go to secondary stage, they are talking about multidisciplinary learning, flexibility, study of choice of subjects. They are talking about all these things at, at these levels. We will cover all this at the different level. Okay. Now, this slide, page number 61, uh, I, I have taken this because this is very important from the point of view of everyone. Uh, biological processes, we know when bacha grows, there is a lot of changes in the body of the bacha. When, you, uh, when we talk about cognitive processes, so whatever we are teaching in the school education, that is the part of uh, changing the intelligence, thoughts, language, that all we do. But socio-emotional processes, they are talking about socio-emotional processes in this NCF. What is this? why it is required. You must have heard a lot about the suicides and all in quota and seeker. And uh, you must have uh, heard a lot about dummy education system nowadays. You must have heard a lot about uh, this uh, divorce cases in the family and all. So this all, why it is happening, why our society is going into that direction, why bachas are taking that type of steps, so how to address this issue. So they are talking about changes in an individual's relationship, changes in emotions, changes in personality, how to take care of that, how to deal with this problem. They have uh, talked a lot about this problem in this uh, document. So if you have time, please go through that. This is very important. We always say that the uh, system will do or uh, parents will do. No, we all have to come together to solve this problem. 
Now, another thing uh, which is very important in this document, here they have written page number 189 of the document. They are talking about school teachers and school principals have not been necessarily vested with the guiding and guiding. Uh, now, if you see here, they are talking about this guiding and counseling, which nowadays we assume there should be a counselor in the school and that is the work of the counselor. No, they are saying no, it is not. Every parent, every class teacher and every teacher should act as counselor. They Counseling means dealing with the problems of the bacha, whatever the problem. Now, the, at later stage of the same page, they have told that if there is extreme situation, if there is extreme situation, then only you have to uh, send the bacha or you have to guide the bacha to meet the drug counselor. But every day, day to day basis, you have to talk to the bacha and counsel the bacha as per the requirement. Every teacher should be the counselor. They are they have clearly written, if you go through the NEP also, it is clearly written, teacher have to work as a counselor. We, we should not assume that ki, haan, uh, there should be counselor and that counselor, one counselor in the school, or sometimes there is no counselor, one counselor for, the, uh, if you go to government schools and all, there is one counselor working for four schools. We cannot expect that counselor to work for 8,000 bacha. We have only 40 bacha and we should be talking to the bacha as their friend, as their mentor, as their uh, guide, so that ki bacha should have faith in you, bacha will tell everything to you, and you can deal the situation, whatever comes in the life of the bacha. Now, how to teach? This is why factor of education. Generally, what we have seen, ki what, what to teach? What to teach in, what to teach in chemistry, what to teach in mathematics, what is the syllabus, what is the curriculum, we always talk about those. Now they are saying why, why factor is very much important. Now when in this document, they have beautifully categorized if you have to teach a bacha, you should be knowing, suppose they have given example, suppose you have to teach bacha LCM, SCF class, fifth mathematics. Now. Before teaching, you should be knowing what is the general understanding of the bacha, general understanding about the society, general understanding about the sciences, general understanding about the mathematics, general understanding about the languages. I am framing a mathematics question. Now, bacha should be knowing mathematics, but my language should be like that. That should be general. Generally, bacha can understand my language. If it is not, for that, I should be knowing what should be the knowledge of the bacha of class five for the languages? Then only I can frame the correct question. I'm the mathematics expert, but I should be knowing the general understanding of the bacha of that level. Next, they are talking about, if you are a mathematics teacher, then general understanding about the mathematics. Suppose you have given some calculation and all, you are teaching a particular topic, but whether that child is, experienced enough or skilled enough to do that type of calculation. If that child is not skilled enough to do that type of calculation, maybe you have given a question of LCM and SCF or maybe you have given a question of simply uh, uh, suppose co compound interest, but bacha do not know how to multiply. Then you cannot check the bacha, how bacha is skilled for ca calculating compound interest or not. Because multiplication, that general understanding of the mathematics, bacha should be knowing. Then they are talking about what in class 5. Till class 5 and in class 5. If we are framing a subject, if we are framing a question, if you are teaching a topic, we should be knowing the general understanding of the bacha, then general understanding in a particular subject, then general understanding in particular class, and then only we have to make the learning outcome of that topic topic. We do not know what is the understanding of the bacha in the language. I cannot teach or teacher cannot teach mathematics. So this is the biggest problem India is facing that mathematics teacher do not know the understanding of the child in language. Language teacher do not know the understanding of the child in numbers or calculations and all. 
Even the language teacher do not know how much sciences bacha should be knowing and sciences teacher do not know how much language bacha should be knowing. And that is the reason there is a gap. We sometimes, these bachas do not know how to talk. These bachas do not know how to write. This is the problem we are facing. And you must have heard about the uh, PISA when we went in, I think, in 2000. 9, 12, 19, I don't know a date. And we uh, came 170, uh, out of 172, we came 171. So that was the last. So why? Because we are not, we teachers uh, do not know. I know mathematics, somebody know language, somebody know science, somebody know social science, but bachas have to know everything. So we should be knowing. I I have heard many a time, I have been a coordinator and sometimes I have heard a physics teacher a physics teacher who is teaching physics in class 10 and sometimes they will please teach chemistry and the teacher says, no, no, I am expert in physics only. If you have done your uh, BSc, maybe specialized in physics, but for, if we are expecting this from class 9th bacha, that much physics and chemistry that bacha should be knowing. Why a teacher of physics should not be knowing a basic? I have seen in many KVs, I have seen in many government schools, one teacher teaching all physics, chemistry uh, and bio. I have seen this. So, but that is happening. So, no doubt if we have expert teachers, if we, we have a teacher who can uh, be given different, it will be good. But if we do not know, uh, we do not have... Uh, we should be knowing, we should be knowing that we can teach at least basic 10, 9, 10th science. So even the commerce teacher should be knowing how 9, 10th science, but basic, what is basic and if required. And sometimes I, I, we teach to our bacha at, in, at home. We go through the book, we teach, it happens. So now, subjects, if you go through the NCF, they have divided all the subjects into four groups four groups and they have divided all the subjects into eight curricular areas. I'm repeating, they have divided all the subjects into four groups. They have divided all the subjects into eight curricular areas. Then you know your subjects, whatever the subjects you have, physics, chemistry, accountancy, it can be the part of group one, group two, group three, group four. It can be the part of curricular area one, two, three, four. I will let you know. And every subject will be divided into four courses for class 11th and 12th. I'm repeating, there will be four groups. In four groups, there will be eight curricular areas. In those eight curricular areas, there will be subjects. And your subjects in class 11th and 12th will be divided into four courses. Why four courses? Because we are going into semester system. Course one, class 11, semester one. Course two, class 11, semester two. Course three, class 12, semester one. Course four, class 12, semester one. Like that, the process of dividing the subject into courses is already on. There are committees which are working for that. NCRT has already made the committees. So they are working on that. If you go through the document of NCF for some subjects, they have given the hint how to divide the, they have not given actual thing, but they have given the hint how to do that. Now, see this. I told you that there are four groups. Group one is related to languages, all the languages, the language to the native to the India, other languages, modern languages, classical languages, foreign languages, they are, they have categorized like this, all are the part of group one. Group two, if you see, there are three curricular areas, art education, physical education and vocational education. Art education, Indian classical music, folk dance, theater, sculpture, fine arts and all, yoga, lifestyle, physical education, uh, sports and all, everything in physical education. Vocational education, they are talking about different type of vocation. We will cover in the later stage. Now, so this is group one and group two. Now, group three, if you see all the subjects related to commerce and social sciences, all the subjects, related to commerce and social sciences are the part of group three. And all the subjects related to sciences, mathematics and science are the part of group four. I'm repeating group one is mainly language. 
ग्रुप टू इज मेनली दैट एडिशनल वाला पार्ट जो विच बच्चा देगा आर्ट एजुकेशन फिजिकल एजुकेशन वोकेशनल एजुकेशन ग्रुप थ्री सोशल साइंस कॉमर्स एंड ग्रुप फोर इज साइंस एंड मैथ now these are the four groups you should be everyone should be knowing there will be four groups now these four groups are again divided into eight curricular area the first curricular area is the language the second is art education then physical education then vocational education 3 plus 1 is 4 then again two in group 3 social science and ida then two six and then mathematics and computational thinking is the Seventh and sciences are the eighth. These are total eight curricular areas to be studied in class six onwards. Six onwards. I'm repeating these eight curricular areas to be studied class six onwards. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. How to study? I will tell you. Now, any doubt till this? Anyone having any question till this? Should I move? Okay. i'm moving now if you say they are saying that 10 subjects 10 they have written this on page number 83 this is a mistake i have not changed it if you go through the document page number 83 they have written all 10 curricular areas of grade 3 right from beginning now this should not be curricular area this should be all 10 subjects this is a mistake on the document you can go through the document i have seen this but i have not changed it so sorry 10 subjects will be there in class 10 and the two languages they have clearly written page number 83 school and examination board should be prepared to offer a minimum two languages for grade 12 from the beginning of implementation of this ncf this is very important line of this document that is the reason i have taken these lines from there itself i have not changed anything i have only taken the important point and make them bold now they are saying the two languages in class 11th and 12th mainly they will be started from 11 not in 12 has to be started from the beginning of implementation of the ncf now ncf we are going to implement from next year that means we have to implement this language formula and the subject formula from next year only there is no if and but because for other thing they have given for boards for semesters for everything they have given ki in years in years to come in next 10 years in next 5 years they have written all like this but for these two thing they have clearly written from the beginning of implementation of the ncf that means there is no choice with the government or with the boards now if you see ida first the new thing new uh, uh, part of the curricular area is ida they have used the word interdisciplinary area now this ida have all the subject that is legal studies accountancy business study like that subject mainly which uh, commerce bachcha used to take uh, till now now in this ida they are saying class 9 10th also will have ida they have clearly written class 9 10th also will have ida now there was confusion even i i was confused that if the class 9 10th uh, can also take ida that means and ida was having see this if i go through this ida was having business study accountancy journalism indian knowledge system legal study so i was having an impression that class 9 10th can also take accountancy or business study as a subject that was my interpretation in the beginning when i went through this document the more you will study the more you will get into depth at page number 387 they have specifically given in class 9 in ida every bachcha have to take individual in society this is a subject specified for class 9 and in class 10 every bachcha have to study environmental education that means there is no choice in class 9 and 10 for it though they have to study ida but they cannot choose the subject 
सब्जेक्ट हैज ऑलरेडी बीन गिवन नाउ इन क्लास 11th and 12th फर्स्ट बच्चा हैव राइट बच्चा कैन गो फॉर आईडीए बच्चा कैन नॉट गो फॉर आईडीए इफ बच्चा गो फॉर आईडीए बच्चा है taken idea bachcha wants to take idea then there are subjects bachcha can take legal study bachcha can take accountancy bachcha can take business study bachcha can take uh, sustainability family uh, indian knowledge system whatever the bachcha can take so in 11th and 12th first bachcha have choice of taking idea and not taking idea and second from idea bachcha can take any specific subject but in 9th and 10th bachcha do not have right to leave idea and After taking IDA, बच्चा have been given a specific subject. Any query, any comment, any feedback on this? Anyone? Good job, sir. Excuse oh. me, sir. Yes, ma'am. Please. Uh, sir, I have a question. Can you please uh, tell us the difference between multidisciplinary and interdisciplinary approach? Ma'am, uh, where you got this? In this slide. Sir, uh, we have been reading this interdisciplinary. Okay, so, uh, I and will, sometimes uh, we hear this here uh, one more term, multidisciplinary. Ma'am, what we so, uh, are what they we, same uh, or there's a difference? Uh, this is these are the same thing. What you, we used to do, uh, I can tell you with one example. Uh, what we used to teach in our commerce, if there is two thing, uh, two thing to be integrated, that is called interdisciplinary. Suppose mathematics and science, it is interdisciplinary. Two thing. Multidisciplinary means more than two. Commerce, science, means with art, with maybe something uh, physical education. Then multi. So if there are two, then inter. That we used to teach in our in inter uh, business or something in business study in when I was teaching in school. So that the same thing they have used, but now for your knowledge, these are the same thing. These means we can say that multidisciplinary is the extended and, form of interdisciplinary ha ah, that is that is multi means many in multi means many or intergenerally we use for two things josna gaur ma'am uh, josna ma'am have a good example of this i can good explain. evening sir good evening ma'am please Ah, uh, sir, I would like to ask one thing. Yes, like, uh, as the children have been given choices in IDA or in sciences or mathematics, so the school has to take up all those subjects or whatever they are registered for. They can you, offer only that. You, ma'am, if you go to ah uh, this, see this. If you see slide number, I, I was having. I I know which type of query because this is my ah. Uh, Thirty one, thirty one. This is the session I'm taking. Ah, uh, four session online and other offline. If you see, they have written schools should be prepared to offer the subject. See this. At least two groups. At least two groups. Ah, uh, see this. Ah, uh, I'm telling you. Ah, uh, from the beginning of the implementation of the NCF. Okay. Within five year, school should be ready to offer subject from all the group. and within 10 year school should offer many more subject covering all curricular area so they have given you time at present you can choose whatever the subjects you have in years to come you can add more subjects and they are saying in 10 years you should be having all the subjects thank you sir thank you is it clear thank you ma'am thank you very much now i am moving uh, i hope idea is clear to everyone now class 10th board there was a lot of talk after nep that board is going from class 10 there was a lot of but in ncf it is clearly written this is page number 79 of ncf i have taken this picture from the ncf this is not my picture they have written 10th board certification that means there is a board first of all now in 10th how the subjects will be they are talking about all eight curricular area language 1 mathematics 2 science social science art education ida physical education and vocational education total eight curricular area from language bachcha have to take 3 7 1 1 language 3 7 plus 3 total eight curricular areas first is the language from that language bachcha have to th take three languages Now seven plus three total will be ten subjects in class ten. I am repeating at present, bacha are studying either five or six. If bacha is taking additional, then six. Otherwise, five subjects 
if i am correct uh, any uh, one can uh, tell me five subjects or six subject in class 10 five subject or six so subject five in class or maximum six uh, maximum is five or bachcha can take six okay but in next ncf when it will be implemented next year onwards bachcha have to take 10 subjects there is no if and but three languages then mathematics then science then social science then art education then environmental education then physical education and then vocational education this environmental education is the part of ida now out of these 10 seven will be board on different centers they have clearly written external examination external examination external examination means what we do in the board that is called as external examination for these three that is art education physical education and vocational education which is the part of group 2 if you remember group 2 these three curricular areas are the for it they have written local assessment with external examiner that means external examiner a teacher from another school will come to your school you as an internal examiner and that external examiner both will sit together both will take the paper theory practical and mark the bachcha and send the marks to the board out of 100 total what we do in accountancy practical or physics practical that is only the practical part but here there are total 100 marks will be sent from the school now you should be happy that bachcha will be in your control 300 marks from the school the bachcha will be in your control you can guide the bachcha accordingly so this is good move or you find there there is some anyone can give your feedback what do you find it is it good move or not sir so, total four subject art environmental education physical no, education environmental and... education board sir environmental education external examination it is written see this environmental okay. education there will be board only art education then physical education and then vocational education these three right sir okay any anyone else any query okay hello sir yes ma'am uh, sir uh, right now in our school when loc form registered okay five compulsory subjects they have given to the students and yes. one additional okay that additional is optional whether the yes. student go for or not yes this same is applicable in 10th yeah. or yeah. the the bachcha which is in class 9 the same will be applicable in 10 there is no change the new bachcha which will be coming in 9 9 then year, okay that okay. only any change will be in 9th and 11th only don't worry about the bachcha which will be going in 10th or 12th there will be sir, no change. sir it is not it is not necessary to opt for optional subject 6th one in 9th uh, next year onwards no no this year this year this is optional ma'am bachcha can take 6th or cannot take 6th bachcha only 5 he only can five take percent. yes okay sir thank you so much okay. should i move any anyone having anil sir uh, ram uh, ram rakhi ma'am yeah yeah sir yeah okay i'm moving anyone having any question otherwise i'm moving sanjay sir you want Hello, to ask sir. something yes sir yes sir yes sir please uh, sir uh, but there is no ida uh, subjects Sir, this idea is there, na? This from idea environmental education is there. But but it is compulsory or it is changeable? Yeah, it is compulsory, sir. It is compulsory subject. I told you individual in, society, in individual in society. I'm talking about next year onwards when this will be implemented. This year, don't worry. You have already. Okay, sir. This will be from twenty four, twenty five. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Should I move? Yes, sir. Okay. Now. and uh, i can tell you one thing more is uh, it is a government policy let's wait for the election uh, what i'm telling you i'm telling you the document how it will be implemented it depends upon what government says so there is a election next year so we have to think of that also theek okay? hai so don't worry about now class 11th and 12th 9 10th 10 subjects compulsory subject no if but everybody have to take three uh, subjects local examination seven subject board examination now class 11th and 12th this is very important slide every should, one should be knowing now there are four groups from first group every bachcha have to take two languages from remaining three group 
बच्चा हैव टू टेक फोर सब्जेक्ट आई एम रिपीटिंग फ्रॉम फर्स्ट ग्रुप Every bacha have to take two language. One should be native, and one can be any. It is written from group one. At least one of these two languages should be native. Bacha have to take two language. At present, bacha is taking only one language. Two language and one should be native. Now, out of three groups, groups means I am going back on my slides. Groups means these group two, group three. And group four, from group two, group three, and group four, bacha have to take four subjects. Now, how these four subjects have to be taken? Bacha have to touch at least two groups. Bacha cannot take all four subjects from one group. Bacha can take from uh, three subjects from one group and one subject from other group. Bacha can take two subjects from one group, two subjects from other group. Bacha can take one subject from first group and three from other group. Bacha can take one from one, one from another, and two from another. Whatever the combination bacha want to do, bacha can do. But bacha have to take four subjects and have to touch at least two groups, living language. Language is one. After that, two more, two more groups and four subjects. That is the rule. Now see this. I give you the example. Suppose there is a science bacha. There is a science bacha who have taken the language. After language, what bacha will do? Bacha will take physics, chemistry, and bio from here because they are saying four subjects. So bacha will take physics, chemistry, and bio, one group, and bacha will go to group two, and from here bacha can take physical education. What the bacha is taking nowadays? Same will happen. Now. PCB after PCM, physics, chemistry, and mathematics from group four. Then bacha will move to group two, and from here bacha can take physical education, art education, whatever the bacha wants. Science taken care of. Now take think about commerce. Bacha will take business study, accountancy, economics from group three, one group. Second group bacha have to touch at least. Bacha can take mathematics, commerce with maths wala bacha. Commerce without maths, wala bacha will go to group two, take physical education or art education, whatever. Commerce is taken care of. Now, humanities wala bacha will take history, geography, political science from here, and then if bacha wants to take mathematics or something, bacha can go to group four, or bacha want to take physical education or something, bacha can go to group two. So every same combination which nowadays bacha are taking, I am repeating. There is a lot of perception that streams will not be there. I am telling you, streams will be there. Subjects will be same in class eleventh and twelfth. No if and but. Only one additional language will come. They themselves in the document. They themselves in the document have written this. I can show you that. See this. Combination for commerce, combination for science, combination for social science. They have written on page number thirty. Everywhere they are talking, there is no stream, no stream, no stream. But they themselves on page number thirty have given this chart. This is their chart. I have taken only the screenshot. So there will be combination. There will be commerce. There will be science. There will be humanities. There is no change in that. Ha! Ah, they have given one additional option. If any child wants to study physics along with accountancy, along with history, the multidisciplinary concept is there. You can take. There is option, and I think, as far as my knowledge is concerned, to even today, CBSC says whatever you want to take. You can take only some subject combination is there. You cannot take information practice along with computer science. That type of combination, that type of sections are there. Otherwise, even today, CBSC says take one language and any four subject. There is no if and but. If I'm correct, anyone can correct me if there I I am wrong. Ah, uh, sir, I have a question now. Yes, ma'am, please. Uh, you are saying one language. So one language means it can be either Hindi or English or no, no, like... two language. I'm not saying one language. Oh. I'm saying two language plus four subject from okay. group one. They have to take two language. I'm I'm going on back one. See this group one. They have to take two language compulsory. It is written compulsory two okay. language 
वन शुड बी नेटिव नेटिव मीन सपोज आई एम आई एम समेर इन बंगाल तो दैट कुड बी बंगाली कैन बी दाई लैंग्वेज and then it can be hindi or english can be the another language if i am from punjab i will take punjabi as a language and then another language can be hindi or english okay and then four subjects and four okay. subjects will be same as what bachcha are taking nowadays i can tell you there will be no change in that is it clear ma'am okay yeah yeah got it thank you so much thank you anyone else having any uh, problem in this Permutation and combination of the subject selection because because there is a lot of talk about that also. So I hope it is clear. There is no not going to be any change in science, commerce, or humanity. It will be like same. Only one additional language, but I have to study in class eleventh and twelfth. Now, uh, now since they have given that ki ba uh, bacha can take a uh, a uh, commerce bacha can also take biology. They are saying like that. So subjects while making the uh, subject uh, component, they are saying we have to make a subject component like that. That one subject should not be dependent upon other. Now what happens nowadays? That suppose a teacher is teaching biology, and there is some part in biology which is the base, uh, which base is in chemistry. So generally, bio teachers say you must have studied in class eleventh in biology. So that we say in class, I being a coordinator, I've seen this thing. So now that will not be happen. Subject curriculum will be framed as That these will be the independent subjects, not dependent. Sometimes some uh, numericals are there in physics, which base is in mathematics. So that will not be there. Whatever we have to teach in physics, that will be the part of physics. Assuming, but I have not taken mathematics. I just yeah. now. I am moving to the yeah. next slide, which is about the pedagogy of teaching. Now they are saying in till class, okay. not not to class ten. they are saying till class 10 you have to use the books books will may play a significant role major role but when you are moving to class 11th and 12th they are um, after going through the document i have just there are something sometimes they are talking about that ib wala concept where there will be more case study open book test ah uh, bachcha will be going for outings no no bags and discussions seminars workshops like that self study group study like that so they are talking about all those thing that content delivery concept which we are doing nowadays we are going in the class and delivering our con content and saying my syllabus is complete that in years to come will not be there we are moving i i am sure many of you must be teaching or at least have gone through the concept of ib schools what they are doing in their senior schools the same thing in same direction we are going to move in years to come they are talking about that now here very important thing there every year there is a confusion cbsc have not given the curriculum every year what happened सीबीएसई का सिलेबस नहीं आया सिलेबस नहीं आया सिलेबस नहीं आया देयर इज अ लॉट ऑफ टॉक इन द मंथ ऑफ फरवरी एंड मार्च ऑथर्स आर नॉट एबल टू मेक देयर बुक्स टीचर्स आर नॉट एबल टू प्लान देयर टीचर डायरी एंड ऑल माइक्रो प्लान मैक्रो प्लान व्हाट वी यूज्ड टू डू इन जनवरी फरवरी बट सिलेबस ही आता है अप्रैल में जाके तो कैसे होगा इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल नाउ दे आर सेइंग दैट सिलेबस गिविंग वर्क इज नॉट ऑफ सीबीएसई दे हैव क्लियरली रिटेन देयर आर टू बॉडीज one is cbsc one is ncert scrt cbsc and all boards is one body ncert scrt these are other board ncert and scrt will design the curriculum they will design the curriculum and board cbsc icsc up board haryana board whatever they will only evaluate the bachcha boards will not give their own curriculum they have to check the bachcha they have to evaluate the bachcha they have to examine the bachcha on the basis of curriculum given by ncert and scrt so there is a lot of talk here cuet mein this portion is related in cuet this portion is are uh, not related in cbsc or related in cbsc not in uh, cuet so this problem in years to come will not be there will not be there because ncert syllabus is common for cert also neat also je also and on the same book or the curriculum 
NTA will check the bacha for J, for NEET, for CUT. So I think this problem, they are saying, they are trying that coaching system and all. The bacha should not be dependent upon that. I hope this is a welcome move. Uh, anyone have anything to say on this? What do you feel that? This is a good or not? You can write in the chat box or you can raise your hand and say, this is a good move or not. Every year we are waiting for the CBSC curriculum. Deleted portion, what is deleted? And even till today, I receive uh, messages on different groups. This is in syllabus or not? This is in syllabus or not? In the month of October, teachers are asking on different groups. Now, again, they are saying that we are moving on single unified stage of secondary. I told you in the beginning, there's the difference between secondary and senior secondary. The difference between secondary and senior secondary will not be there. 9 to 12 is secondary. Level 1 and level 2, the PGT, TGT system, that will not be there. Four, sir, they are talking about four year multidisciplinary studies. They are talking about in years to come, we will move to that. And one thing or they are saying about semester system, we have to move to the semester system. This annual examination will not be there. In And in this document itself, they have many times written in years to come. It is not that next year only semester will come. It may be that CBSC announced next year can be happen. But as per this document, they have not given any guidelines. They are saying in years to come, we have to move towards semester system. So some board may say that depending upon the resources and infrastructure, some boards may say that, okay, okay we will take semester exam next year. Some may say that no, next to next year because we have less resources. So that is the reason they have not given any date for this choosing examination, semester system and all. But for that language formula, subject formula, they have says that from the beginning of the implementation of the from the from the implementation beginning of the document and yes, they have written clearly. Now, assessment for assessment at different level, they have given. If you see the foundation stage, they are talking foundation stage means that pre wala. So they are saying observation method. They are saying no till class two. You need not to. The bacha should not be given pen and paper, and bacha should not be examined on it. They are saying at foundation stage you have to observe the bacha. How bacha is moving? How bacha is talking? How bacha is doing the work? How bacha is participating in the activities? If you are giving some mathematics or work or Hindi work or English work, whatever you are giving, how the bacha is doing? You have to observe the bacha and you have to mark. Now, in preparatory stage, that is three, four, five, they are talking about summative examination. No, from here, there can be pen, paper, test at the end of the year. Now, in middle stage, again, along with summative examination, they are talking about oral examination. Oral examination. So, there can be some debate, discussion, uh, you can be asking some question, they can be replying, why, why, and all, whatever you, we used to do, that can be the part of, in the middle class. And in secondary stage, that is 9, 10th, 11, and 12, they have given two terms, open book test, and essay type questions. Why I'm giving emphasis to essay type question? Now what uh, nowadays is happening, the bachas which are moving out from education system, they do not know how to write. In our time, we were given 20 mass question and we used to write one page, two page, three page for 20 mass question. But nowadays, bachcha are not in habit of that. So maybe some of the committee members have realized this problem that our, our next generation do not know how to write. And that is the reason they are talking about case-based question, essay-based questions, where bachcha should be knowing how to write. Okay, now, now the board again they are they have written easier. Now they want to move to the easier board. I don't know what uh, how much easy they want to do because even nowadays every bacha is getting ninety five. So they have written easier without compromising with the uh, competencies. So no doubt they will they are trying about that there should not be cramming and all. Again. Single secondary stage, I have told you many times. And at page number 31, they have used the term modular examiners. I have taken this 
uh, to show you what is this modular examination. You should be knowing how it will be conducted because you, some of you can be the part of that system. It is going to be a very good system. And I um, I suppose and I rec uh, recommend everyone should be the part of that system. It will be very helpful for your own growth. Now, if you see, uh, one thing they've written, same examination twice. I'm not talking about competencies. I have already discussed same examination twice. And whatever the examination you are taking, you are taking half ELG, you are taking UT, you are taking final examination, whatever you are taking, that should be twice. Another thing, this why I have taken, see this page number 127, 127, because there is a lot of discussion, next year semester a jayega. maybe a jayega, but NCF is not saying that, NCF is saying, in long run, please, this term is very important. In long run, all board should change to semester or term-based system. They have given you the flexibility because the people who are working for the NCF, they know there are some state boards which do not have resources to conduct examination twice. This is not possible at all. So first, they have to increase the resources. Maybe CBSC can do it. But there are different boards, there are uh, some state boards and all, they cannot do that. So they have clearly written in long run. That means next year semester will be there. Maybe CBSC can have, ICSC can have, but not all the state boards. Maybe some state board can have, but not CBSC. CBSC says, no, we will do it from next to next year. Because NCF itself is saying in long run we have to move. So we have 10 years of time. So we should be moving into that direction. Maybe next year, maybe next to next year, depending upon the situation. So for this semester, what I come, you have to wait. You have to wait for the circular from the CBS. Okay. Now, again. Sir, yes, sorry yes. to interrupt. Yes, Please explain point number two. Examination will be taken twice. Yeah, I'm going on to see. <laughs> they came, uh, you told me, you asked me this question. This yes, point sir, number yes, two. Sir. And my yes. next slide is this. I know oh. what question will be coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Now, they are saying every examination will be twice. Since if suppose there is an annual examination, so you have to take two boards. If there is semester examination, one will be in September, one will be in March, then semester, that September one examination will be twice. And March one examination will again be twice. So, Bacha will have four things. And if you have... Uh, Seen the interview of Mr. Dharmesh Dharme Pradhan yesterday only, he told, it, though it is clear in the document itself, that this twice examination is not compulsory. Bacha will be giving the board, I'm talking about semester, thinking about that there is semester implemented from next year. Now, semester, first semester will end in September. Then Bacha will have another chance in October. Bacha can give board in September. Bacha can give board in October. Bacha can give both. Same way, next semester is in March. Bacha can give in March. Bacha can give in April. Bacha can give both. Now, if Bacha have given only one, the marks of September and the March or the October or the April, whatever it is, it will be in the... If Bacha have given both, September wala bhi and October wala bhi. Same way, Bacha have given the examination of March wala bhi and then April. Wala. Then best of these two will be given to the bacha. So there will be four boards. Bacha can give any two. Bacha can give all four. Or bacha can have, no, in September, October, I give two. But in March, I give only one because I have to prepare for my need. I will give in March and I will not appear for it. So from September, October, the best will be implemented. And from the March, whatever the marks bacha will get. Jyoti, ma'am, you got the answer? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. So if there is annual examination, it will be two. If there is semester examination, it will be four. Because same examination twice. Semester, two examination, and then two times. So there will be four. I hope it is clear. Now, there will be a lot of questions. How it will be implemented? How many board paper? Who will prepare? Who write the copy? Now, in the document itself, they have written, create, test, using, suitable software and move to on-demand examination. Now, what does it mean? 
they are saying it is not possible to create so much board papers. It is not possible. Now, if you know about CU, it is. I have a question. Yes, ma'am, please. So that how we will be able to prepare the results and all, how will be the checking? Means four times if exam will be conducted, how it will be possible for us to do all the work? It will be very I, I, lengthy. I, 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 I was telling you the same point. I was telling you the same point. What nowadays what is happening in CUT? Please try, try to understand the concept of CUT. We as a teacher, I think many of you must have also been called by NTA. You must have prepared some question. That question has been put in the software of uh, NTA. When Bacha goes on the center, nobody knows what is the paper. Bacha sits there and out of 8,000 question or 5,000 question, any 50 question comes in front of Bacha. Nobody has prepared the paper. We have prepared the questions. Now there is some AI tools. There are some instructions from this chapter, this many question, high level, this many question, low level, this many question, and 50 question permutation commission is given. And if the examination, I, I think for mathematics, somebody was talking about 23 times examination happened this year. And there were 23 paper, different 50 questions. Nobody knows that, which 50. Nobody prepared, nobody is going to prepare the paper. We will prepare the questions. We miss the team, whosoever the called by the board, the CBSC and all. That will be put somewhere in the software. And Bacha will be going, sitting. Now, no, this is the this is the syllabus. If you put the enter, that question paper will come in front of you, depending upon the instructions given to AI. I hope you got my answer, ma'am. Yes, sir. I got your answer. So one more thing, uh, will be there. Uh, will be there. Uh, one will be objective type. Or yeah, subjective also, subjective. subjective also. Every question, three marker, four marker. You give the instruction that three marker from this chapter, four marker from this chapter. Everything will come in front of you. Don't worry about that. We are moving. India is moving into tech world. You all have accepted this Zoom. And then this Google Meet and everything. We are doing this meeting. Think about only four years back. Have we ever thought of this? Have you ever thought of this? No, no, no. Yes. Uh, we, we are used, moving we towards. Used to, yeah. used to go to some seminars. Oh, our seminar hoga sab subah aad baje baithke ke school se baso me jaate the ek jagah. And then there is used to be seminar or wahan attend karte the and then aake school me report dikte the. Understand that how we have moved to this. Yes, yes, sir. So we are oh, going in that direction. Uh, teachers will be uh, called to prepare the paper, not paper, questions. And questions will be fit. And they are moving. Aapko pata, there was a system that English ki copy check hoti thi, software se check ho jate thi. Suna tha bhi board mein kuch hua tha aisa? Aap logo ne? English teacher ko agar koi hai to? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. From our school, many teachers went there. Haan, went, na? To aise, ab wo, wo, Objective nahi thi, wo subjective thi. So that was check ho rahi thi. So they are they are trying testing how what can be the problem, what can be what the, they are trying to do that, that. And I'm telling you, these are the in years to come. This is not next year going to happen. Maybe semester system they are going to do that, then paper will be prepared. One year there can be problem and all. But in years to come, you need not to prepare the paper. Why you should be preparing the paper? Paper will be somewhere in the software. And there are AI tools, you give one question. I can show you online itself. You write one question of your subject, features of partnership. You write this question in any of the AI tool and tell that AI tool, give me 10 substitute question of this. A simple AI tool, chat GPT will give you 10 question. If you want, I can show you. So that we need not to prepare so much of question. Don't worry about that. Okay. Should I move? Okay. I'm moving. Excuse me, sir. Excuse yes. me, sir. Uh, uh, can we complete first? Then we can have question answers so that we can... Uh, oh, okay, 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 okay. All right. Okay. If something very urgent related to this slide, we can talk. Otherwise, we can move. And at the last, we can have the question answer. Okay. I, I promise I will take each and every question. I promise. Now... Again, they are saying, this is very important. Again, very important thing. For every subject, there will be two levels. You know, nowadays in mathematics, in class 10, 
we have two mathematics. Can anyone tell me which are the two mathematics in class 10? Standard and basic. Standard. Now they are saying there will be basic physics and advanced physics. There will be basic mathematics and advanced mathematics. There will be basic accountancy and advanced accountancy. There will be basic business study and advanced business study. But again, I'm telling you in the years to come, subject examination at different levels should be offered. I want to study physics, but I'm a commerce bachcha. I want to have basic physics. I have to give UPSC examination after three years. So I want to study the basics of physics. Maybe that. Somebody wants to study basic of economics, not detail of economics, but uh, that person wants to know the detail of accountancy. So in commerce, he will be taking the, the advanced level of accountancy and business study, but basic level of economics, like that. They are saying that every subject, there will be two levels. But again, I'm telling you, in years to come, it is not that next year on what it is going to happen. Okay? If you go to uh, this slide, uh, which is holistic progress card, HPC, they are talking many schools, the, all the private school, if you go through, they are already doing this thing. Only two uh, things they are talking about. They are talking about competencies. Competencies to be written, uh, what competency level has been achieved. And the comparing of the child, which generally I have seen in the many school, highest in the class, there is a column called as highest in the class. So where we compare the bacha with the other bacha, they are saying no, this should not be that. As opposed to compare with others, they are talking about you have to compare the bacha with the bacha itself. Mathematics, if you are writing the mathematics marks of the bacha of class 8, write the mathematics marks of the bacha of class 7 in the same report card so that you can compare the bacha with the same bacha. Not the you have to compare the bacha with the other bacha. Other bacha say you compare nahi karna. They are talking about that. So this is very good move. And I know many schools are doing that, but uh, I have not seen a, a report card where you, we are comparing. Uh, generally, what happened in the same class, we compare the marks of first term with the second term. But we, so in years to come, what will happen? There will be one report card of six, seven, and eight. There will be one report card of nine, and ten. That is going to happen where you can compare the bacha with the uh, same same bacha with the different uh, subjects in the different examination. That will really going to happen. So they are talking about that. So maybe in years to come, maybe next year or next to next year, you have to change the format of your report card, whatever the report card you are using in the school. Again, this. Uh, somebody was talking about how how the paper will be prepared, how the copy will be checked. So now. Uh, what uh, I don't know how many of you know, in IB, it is not like that ki whosoever joined join the school can go and check the paper. No. It is only in CBSC. What happened? I joined a CBSC school. In the year end, I can receive a letter from CBSC that I have been called for the checking, copy checking. That happens in CBSC only. But in IB and all, no. There is certification. If you have that certificate of evaluator, then only you will be called for checking the paper. Same thing they are talking about in this they are talking about test developer, reviewer, translator, evaluator. These will be the certificate courses offered by university. You have to go through that course. You have to pass that certification. Then only you will be called as test developer. And NTA or CBSC will call you. You go prepare the questions set in the software. If you are a reviewer, somebody else has prepared the questions, you have to review those questions. If you are a translator, you have the certificate of translator, somebody else has prepared the question in English, you can translate into Hindi. If you are an evaluator, then you will record for checking and all process. So this they are talking about, no doubt. Uh, this is going to be very good. I'm again telling you next year, it is not going to happen. It will take time, but it is a good move because what happened, you know, when we go on first day of checking the copy, we, the same copy given to 10 person and everybody is checking and there is a lot of difference. Then our HE says, no, this, 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 this. So that problem will be taken care of because we, if we go through a certificate course, then there will be a process where you will train how to check, what to check, what things to be taken care of. So that is very good move. Now, I told you that vocational education, art education, and physical education. Now, if you think about physical education today, what happened? Bacha gave practical of 30 marks in the school. Bacha go to board. 
then give the 70 marks practical uh, theory paper in the board and 100 marks comes. Now in 9, 10 and 11, 12, they are saying no. There will be even for 9, 10 and even for 11, 12. There will be local assessment with external examiner. Some external examiner will come to school. 75 marks, 75 marks will be demonstration based that is practical. If somebody is making art, somebody is dancing, somebody is playing, whatever it is. And 25 marks will be written examination. Okay. Board will also need to define the high quality testing system. That means there will be paper coming from the board. You know, uh, in the Corona time, uh, we receive question paper on the mail. Then we download the question paper. Then we conduct the examination The what happened in that year. Same process will be there for vocational education, art education, physical education. Some paper will be there on our school code and all. We will download that paper. We will conduct the examination. That is 25 marks. 75 marks is the practical. Total 100 marks will be given to the bacha and sent to the board. And that will be printed in the mark sheet. That is going to happen. Okay. Next, uh, I'm moving to the vocational education. This is very important. There is a lot of talk. Everybody is talking about vocational education, RI, six class, RI, how it will be coming, what will be there, the everything. I, I have tried to cover it in two slides. Very basic that you all should be knowing what we are going to do in vocational subjects. It is going to be started from class six, compulsory in class six, compulsory in class seven, compulsory in class eight, compulsory in class ninth, and compulsory in class 10. Class 11th and 12th, it is optional. It is option. Bacha can take, bacha can not take. I told you that all eight curricular areas have to study in class 6, 7, 8. In class 9, 10, 10, even 9, 10, 10, that is all 10, all 8. In class 11th and 12th, bacha can choose any four subjects from two groups that I told you already. Now, if you see, they have divided all vocational subjects into three parts. One is called as walk with life, means human being, plant, animals, and all. Second is work with material. Material means they are talking about machines, plumbing, carpentry, and all. And third is work with human services, trade, transport, media, beauty parlor, and all. These three types of vocational courses will be there in the school. Related to life, related to material and related to human. First, you have to divide all the courses into three parts. Now, they are saying in class six, you have to take three, one of life, one of material, and one of human. In class seven also, you have to select three. In class eight also, you have to select three. In class 9th also, you have to select 3. And in class 10th also, you have to select 3. There will be 3 in class 6, 3 in class 7, 3 in class 8, 3 in class 9th, and 3 in class 10th. Total 3 into 5, 15 vocational subjects will be there in the school. I am repeating 3 in each class for 5 classes. There will be 15. But out of these 15, Bacha will select one in six, one in seven, anyone related to machine, related to life, related to material. One in seven, one in eight, one in nine, one in ten. That means when Bacha will be passing class 10, he will be having basic idea of five vocational subjects. There are 15. Bacha can take any five in all subsequent classes. Now, what is the benefit of this? First benefit, what happened after class 10, what subject bacha should be selecting? If you are running your vocational subject properly, you have a, a mind planning for that. Something related to science, something related to commerce, something related to humanities should be the part of your vocational subject at every stage. Then, you can check the skill, the aptitude, the attitude of the bacha, and on the basis of the interest, 
what bachcha have shown in these five years you can allot the subject you can convince the parent and even bachcha ha i am very happy with this and i will select this subject one thing is very important another thing if you see uh, the problem which is existing nowadays in our country i have seen it myself i was working as a coordinator of the school when we used to advertise for teachers suppose we want mathematics teacher for class 6 7 8 we give advertisement in the newspaper that need one mathematics teacher we receive 50 application but when we advertise for we need one carpenter for the school we never receive any applicants no one is interested to work because now the demand supply gap is so much you you can check at your home when you are needing one plumber or carpenter or electrician at home how much problem you are facing nowadays why it is so at our father's time papa used to take pechkas and do some repair work i have seen my father repairing press repairing radio and all but i have never done it. and my bachcha will never do it because they have never seen me we, we have not been brought up into that system but maybe that uh, at my father's time some sup w type of subjects were there and they used to that and they do it so now they are saying there is a lot of gap there is a demand supply gap we need uh, white collar people are more in supply as compared to blue collar people blue collar jobs we generally say that so that is not in supply how to do that at least basic how to change the tutti of your uh, maybe uh, basin uh, so that or saying so that you should be knowing why we are depend upon a plumber so they are talking about that so that five a uh, three 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 in five year bachcha can choose any uh, in class 11th and 12th they are talking about you can take one v you can not take one v because you have to take any subject there is choice but in class 6 7 8 9 10th everybody will be taking and that is compulsory what bachcha can take that is a choice but everybody can be taking any confusion on this v selection how many subjects in which class and how how bachcha have to take anyone having any doubt in this should i move to the next slide excuse me sir yes ma'am nidhi ma'am my pleasure uh sir i want to ask one thing is it compulsory for every school to uh, inculcate these 15 subjects only then child will be able to take yes ma'am you have to uh, you have to start 3 in 6 3 in 7 3 in 8 which three one related to life one related to material one related to human in 6 again next year also 7th also 8th also 9th also 10th also so you have to start at 15 Vocational subjects you have to decide. How to decide? School has, it ah. means school has to apply for that. No, there is no application required for that. You know, till class tenth, ah, uh, subjects का तो होता ही नहीं है ना. आप लोगों को पता होगा tenth, tenth तक तो हम कुछ भी आप पढ़ा eleven जब में जाके होता है ना subject के लिए आपको apply करने होते हैं. ठीक है sir. ठीक है. Thank you. हाँ, tenth तक तो हम लोग कभी नहीं करते. आप लोग करते हैं. Anyone can rectify me if I'm wrong. Yeah, yes, sir. Sir, in nine, in nine, ten, ten, in nine, also, sir. Yes, ma'am. Then, when we do registration of students ah. for ninth class, so subjects yes. are mentioned there. Ah, so tenth me till tenth we need not to apply for a subject. For eleventh and twelfth we need to apply for a subject. Excuse me, sir. Yes, ma'am, please. Sir, for tenth we have to apply. For tenth, from ninth examination is there, so we need to apply for tenth. At the time of application, जो जो भी subject हम लिख देते हैं वही हमें सब मिल जाते हैं. No, 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 no. Ah. Okay. So we have taken six subject A A I I T or like that. We have applied. Sir. Exactly, ma'am. Exactly. Okay. So you are uh, we are applying now. Okay. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. From nine onwards. Oh, there are no charges. Oh, there are no charges for this from C B S. Okay. हाँ. Okay. Eleven twelve में सर तीन हजार रुपए charges लेते थे कुछ ऐसा मैं because हमने now it is not there. Okay. Main subject if we apply for then we have to pay charges and okay. for vocational subjects But, and all we yeah, there is so no they, need to. They, they are going to they yeah. are means promoting that every 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 yeah. school should be having. So that is the reason. Yeah. So if there is application, we need to fill that application. That is the procedural yeah. thing, ma'am. That is the procedural thing, and depends upon board to board. Maybe CBSC required, ICSC not required like that. So, but ये तो मैम करने ही पड़ेंगे because there is no if and but. NCAB is saying that every school should be having this, and you have to give the choice to the बच्चा. Why choice, ma'am? I can tell you that. Suppose in a class there are forty बच्चा. Generally, we have a forty बच्चा section. Now to teach English, 
to teach mathematics you can teach the class of 40 bachcha but for vocational subject you cannot teach the class of 40 bachcha because this will be in hand bachcha will be doing something Patri, ma'am, you got my point. So now they are saying that class of forty bacha will be divided into three parts, maybe thirteen, thirteen, and fourteen, and that thirteen will be going for the vocational subject of life, thirteen will be going for the vocational subject of material, and fourteen will be remaining fourteen or thirteen, whatever the strength will be going for vocational subject of. Then only the instructor who will be instructing, who will be teaching, can guide. Because it is not possible, it is not a subject where you teach, you're teaching, you're writing something on the board and Bacha is copying or something like that. So that is the reason they are saying ki, you, you have to give three and Bacha have to take one. You got my point, ma'am? Should I move? E excuse me, sir. Yes, sir, Sina, ma'am. Sir, you have told me 15 me se, out of 15. Ne, class 6 to 15 vocational subjects. Yeah. Yes. क्या स्टूडेंट के लिए ये पॉसिबल है या क्या ऐसा हो सकता है कि जो उसने सिक्स्थ में लिया है सेम उसी में इंटरेस्ट होने के कारण वो सेवेंथ में भी ले सके मैम वो उन्होंने मना किया है बिकॉज़ वो कहते हैं कि बच्चे को डिफरेंट चीजों को आपको देखिए यहां पे बच्चे को कोई आपको उसमें इंजीनियर नहीं बनाना है वो कहते हैं बेसिक नॉलेज देना है अगर आपने केवल मान लीजिए उसको आपने सपोज प्लंबिंग में डाला आई एम अज्यूमिंग या सपोज आपने ब्यूटीशियन के कोई उसमें डाल दिया और आपने 5 साल तक वो करा दिया तो इसका मतलब तो आप एक ब्यूटीशियन का उसको कोर्स करा रहे हैं दे आर नॉट सेइंग उसके लिए तो फिर सारे आईआईटी जो आईटीआईज हैं वो सब फेल हो जाएंगे ना इनका सारा सिस्टम ही फेल हो जाएगा दे आर सेइंग कि बेसिक नॉलेज दो कि हां एक ब्यूटीशियन क्या करती हैं उनके क्या काम होते हैं थोड़ा सा एक बेसिक नॉलेज देना है अगर आप किसी बच्चे को इलेक्ट्रीशियन वाले में डाल रहे हैं तो उसको पता होना चाहिए पिचकस क्या होता है उसमें कितने तरह के वो होते हैं कसने वाले वो एक बेसिक बताने की कोशिश करना है तो सारे कर दिए यू गॉट माय पॉइंट मैम yeah yeah okay thank you so much thank Something related to life, if you are saying about related to life, soil management, basic earthwork, uh, different agriculture, horticulture, handicraft, uh, clay work, fabric work, painting work, hai, woodwork, hai, related to machine. If you go for human science, they are talking about some basic healthcare, hospitality, ICT, ICT to Ajbi school. Dete hai. So these can be the part of the curriculum of vocational education in middle school. If you go to middle uh, secondary school, they are talking about livestock, financial survey, financial literacy. I conduct a, a session in different schools, so you can have that curriculum placed in your school for nine, ten, ten total curriculum. I'm designing a curriculum. If you want, I can share with you all. If you want to run in your class nine, ten, ten, you can run it uh, same way. Okay, because vocational subject. The beauty of this that board is not going to give you any curriculum for this. They have told, depending upon the location, if you are in Muradabad, you can have a subject, vocational subject related to some Bengal making. If you are somewhere in, um, suppose Agra, you can have some vocational subject related to Peta or related to leather, leather thing. So you have to decide what can be your vocational subject and what can be the part of the curriculum. That curriculum you have to decide. Board cannot decide ki haan, leather ka alag bana hai, uska alag bana hai. Board cannot decide that. So that, that is the beauty of this vocational subject. Uh, there, there are bachas which are in some jungle area where they uh, try to patte batte tod ke kuch usse banate hain. I don't know. Nowadays it exists. Patto ki thariyaan ban ke aati hain. Bamboo's area can be there. Bamboo making se kuch ban sakta hai. That can be the part of the vocational subject. You can have that subject. You can design a curriculum and that you have to run. Ashina ma'am, Nidhi ma'am, you got the thing that its curriculum you have to make. You have to decide what can be. In your school, maybe uh, your physics lab wala, uh, jo attendant hai, is very good. So you can have some subject related to electronics or something like that, where he, you know how to make a solar system. Ye, wo. That can be thing. You have to design your thing. Something related to tailoring, carpentry, poetry, local art. They have written art, different type of robotics. 
So you have to decide what you want to have as a vocational subject in your school and what will be the curriculum which can be taught in the given period of time that you have to decide. Okay, ma'am. But while designing the curriculum, I can give you that there is a document called an NCQF. Please go through that document if you want, will tell you I can have a session on that also. In that uh, NCQF, uh, every skill has 10 levels, level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4, level 5. There are 10 levels for a carpenter, then there are 10 levels for a carpenter. किसी को कारपेंटर तो जब डिसाइड किया जाता है जब आईआईटी में सॉरी आईटीआई जो अगर में बच्चे पढ़ते हैं तो वहां पे तो लेवल 10 जाते हैं तो यहां पे दे आर सेइंग दैट एनी चाइल्ड हु इज डूइंग दैट टिल क्लास 10th 10th हम टॉपिक में बात 10th में बच्चे के पास लेवल 2 होना चाहिए एज पर एनसीक्यूएफ लेवल 2 या इफ यू कैन सी व्हाट इज द लेवल 2 ठीक है प्रिपेयर अ पर्सन टू कैरी आउट द प्रोसेस Material tools, applications, basic, limited service skills like that, receive no, no responsibility, he will be working under someone. So basic things, suppose an electrician has a course, he should have to know the page, he should have to know the circuit, what is the switch, how is the bulb, that basic, very basic thing you have to guide the child. So they have written this thing. They have given a very good example on page number 450. If you have to give a subject, uh, what you are saying, uh, I think Arshina Mehmo was saying, that we have given the 9th, can we give the 10th or the 6th? But they are saying ki, if you are giving something related, related, suppose you are giving agriculture in class 9, then better you give gardening in class 10. These are two related things. If you are giving plumbing in class 9, then you should be giving carpentry in class 10. Why? Plumbing may be kuch page kasne hai, kuch cutting karne hai, kuch lagana hai, carpentry may be a sai kuch karna hai. So like that, something. If you are giving beauty and wellness in class 9, you should be giving nursing care in class 10. If it is related, it will be good for the bacha in future. I hope... Excuse I... me, sir. Yes, ma'am, please. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. Right now you told uh, in class 9 something different and class 10 something different. Uh -huh. So while registration for students in class 9th is done, yes, the subjects are mentioned, what all subjects, uh, vocational Mem subjects, Mem subject, Mem whatever is will be Sub change over, don't worry about that. Agar, but intent uh, will not uh, be carried out. Because semester system, I know what, what, what they are talking about. Uh, yeah. In semester system, your mark sheet will be how your mark sheet will be there. 10th ki jo mark sheet aayegi na, abhi kya hota hai? Abhi 10th ke marks rakhya jate hain? In years to come, when you will receive a 10th mark sheet, there will be 4 marks. 9th semester 1, 9th semester 2, 10th okay. semester 1, 10th semester okay. 2, and total marks. Jaisse aap jab BA aapne kiya hoga, to ek mark sheet. Yeah, yeah, BA first year, second year, third year, yeah. Third year and third year. So same way, class 12th mark sheet will be 11th semester 1, 11th semester 2, 12th semester 1, 12 okay. semester 2 and total like that is okay. type of mark sheet aayegi aap log okay okay theek hai to ye okay thanks abhi jo ho raha hai na usme kafi changes honge when okay, okay. that is the reason i told you na ki ha it is not easy ki ha cbsc agri bar keh de ki ha next year onwards we are going to have a uh, semester system because they need time to all those for to rectify all those things okay okay, okay. thank you sir so i i i told you that now uh, at the later stage in this document, they have given ki ha, how you have to divide the subjects, periods, timetable and all. Uh, I will not go to the preparatory stage. I will directly move to the middle stage if you want. Otherwise, the secondary stage, because many of you are, I, I can uh, check, many of you are related to the secondary stage. They have de divided the subjects like that. You have to give in your R1, R2, R3, three languages in class 9, 10, 10. How many periods? 97.5, 105.5. This is 1.5, that is the library period. Suppose Bacha is studying English also, Bacha is studying Hindi also. So one, maybe that uh, one semester Bacha will be studying Hindi books uh, in the library. Hindi books means Hindi story books or something like that. In another semester Bacha will be studying English story books. So that library period should be the part of language. Then mathematics, 172.5, science 240, social science 240, art education 150, physical education. Now see this. It is not like that. Kya hafte me ek din sports ka period laga diya, ho gaya physical education. No, it cannot happen. Why it cannot happen? Because you know, though there is no board, but somebody from outside will come to your school. There will be examination. Hundred marks will be there. You have to put the hundred marks. Kaise laga doge hundred marks? 
कुछ तो ऑब्जर्वेशन होंगी कुछ तो चीजें होंगी तो फॉर दैट यू हैव टू एलोकेट द पीरियड इफ यू गो टू फिजिक्स फिजिकल एजुकेशन इफ यू सी दोकेशनल एजुकेशन सेम विद इट इज नॉट कि हाँ वीक में एक पीरियड लगा दिया हो गया वोकेशनल नो इफ यू सी द नंबर ऑफ पीरियड वन सिक्सटी फाइव पीरियड फॉर वोकेशनल एजुकेशन दे आर टॉक अबाउट टू ट्वेंटी डेज ऑफ टीचिंग आउट ऑफ दैट वन सिक्सटी फाइव तो दैट मीन्स वीक में चार पीरियड लगाने पड़ेंगे बच्चों के so they have given a very good distribution ki ha how to distribute the subjects assembly every day assembly they are talking about for that socio emotional progress so they have tried to cover everything uh in this ha a lot of ki ha ji kaise 10 subject karayenge you can go through this time table and they have divided that so the subject kaise honge kaise divide honge kitne number of period maths ko dene kitne science ko dene they have given all those things I have tried my best to cover everything. This is my uh, mobile number, and now do all of you know. So now I am going to take the questions. I will take each and every question. Uh, first of all, I will like to thank you, everyone. Ah, uh, though this was a six hundred page document, but I thought that what is important for teachers as a whole, that yes, everyone knows a little, little, little. That wala part. Ah, uh, there, there, there is a thing. How, how to teach science? How to teach social science? That I have not taken because if I will telling you how to teach science, they have written it in this document. They have given examples also, very beautiful examples also. Ah, uh, for but I have not taken because if you are not science teacher, then it will be of no use and you will. You will say you will say that this is a waste of time. So that part I have not covered. My humble request: please go through that part. If you are a commerce teacher, you are a science. Though commerce part they have not included. Ah, uh, science they have included. Social science they have included. Languages they have included. So if you are a language teacher, you should be going through. They have given examples. So you should be going through. Please, you can ask your question. My humble suggestion: if ah uh, some of you can give your the feedback. Ki how you like this workshop? Ah, uh, is it good or uh, you want me to include something else, some improvements? I don't know. Whatever you, whatever positive, negative, whatever you want, you can have that. Jyoti, ma'am, please. Sir, I am. Ah, one thing repeat. Kar rahi hoon. Aap batayiye ga ki maine mera perception galat hua hai ya sahi hua hai. Na batayiye. Ki jo students is samay class ninth mein hai. Hmm. Matlab session twenty three twenty four ke. उनका रजिस्ट्रेशन हो चुका है yes. वो टेंथ में जाएंगे तो उनके ऊपर ये सारी चीजें एप्लीकेबल नहीं होंगी बिल्कुल नहीं जो एट्थ से नाइन्थ में आएंगे नेक्स्ट ईयर उनके ऊपर ये चीज होगी और जो बच्चे टेंथ से इलेवेंथ में जाएंगे उनके ऊपर ये सारी चीजें एप्लीकेबल एकदम सही बोला हमेशा ऐसे ही होता है एकदम सही बोला एकदम आपने सही समझा इसका मतलब थैंक यू सो मच सर मुझे थोड़ा सा कंफ्यूजन था क्योंकि जैसे हमारी प्रिंसिपल मैम ने आपसे पहले क्वेश्चन पूछा था कि रजिस्ट्रेशन वगैरह हो चुके हैं तो उसी से रिलेटेड थोड़ी से कंफ्यूजन था कि कौन से बच्चे बिल्कुल इस ये हमेशा ऐसा ही होता है हाँ ये हमेशा से ऐसा होता है कोई भी जो चेंज आते हैं ना पास में भी ऐसा हुआ है कुछ चेंजेस आए हैं पहले भी चीजों से वो हमेशा नाइन्थ से ही लगेंगे और इलेवेंथ से लगेंगे ट्वेल्थ में जाने वाले बच्चों और टेंथ में जाने वाले बच्चों के साथ ऐसा कभी नहीं होता ठीक है थैंक यू सो मच सर थैंक यू मैम नेक्स्ट प्लीज जो आप लोग सब्जेक्ट पढ़ा रहे हैं That is more than enough. सारे पढ़ाने की जरूरत नहीं है वो रिकमेंड करते हैं कि हर कुछ होना चाहिए लेकिन नहीं पढ़ा देगा ठीक है वॉट एवर दब्जेक्ट यू हैव जनरली ऑल द प्राइवेट स्कूल पब्लिक स्कूल जो आप लोग पढ़ाते हैं मेनली क्या साइंस के सारे फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री मैथ्स बायो सब पढ़ाता है अकाउंट्स इकोनॉमिक्स बिजनेस स्टडी हिस्ट्री सब ये सब पढ़ाते हैं वो कैसे सब्जेक्ट आपको इलेवन ट्वेल्थ में डालना है ही नहीं कंपलसरी है ही नहीं फिर फिजिकल एजुकेशन सबके पास होता है एंड ड्राइंग फाइन आर्ट्स ये सबके पास होता है तो मुझे नहीं लगता कि आपको कोई और डालने की जरूरत है एडिशनल बच्चों को अगर आपको कुछ देना है कि हाँ जी मुझे दिग्गज स्टडीज पढ़ाना है यू कैन हैव दैट यू कैन हैव दैट बट देर इज नो कम्पल्स एंड अर्चना सर ये बास्केट ऑफ सब्जेक्ट्स की जो बात हो रही है ये आई थिंक अभी भी सीबीएसई अलाउ करता है बट अभी भी करता है अभी कोई चेंज नहीं है मैं अभी बता रहा हूँ ये जो सब्जेक्ट्स हैं आज भी बच्चा अकाउंट्स के साथ फिजिक्स ले सकता है एज पर एज माई नॉलेज मैं दो साल से अब स्कूल में काम नहीं करता हूँ लेकिन जब तक मैं करता था तब तक यही था की माई नॉलेज ऑल्सो इट इज देर बट सर अब आगे जब ये बोल रहे हैं की ऐसा करना है तो हायर एजुकेशन में चेंजेस हुए बिना तो ये हो नहीं सकेगा सर मैम आपको पता है हमारे पास ना देखिये तीन चार तरह के बच्चे होते हैं प्लीज डू नॉट टेक एनी वन अदरवाइज 
हमारे तो एक बच्चे वो होते हैं जिनको डॉक्टर इंजीनियर बनना होता है एक बच्चे वो होते हैं जिनको वो सी ए बी कॉम ये करना होता है एक बच्चे वो होते हैं जो वगैरह लेके आई एस वगैरह करते हैं बी वगैरह करते हैं एक फोर्थ क्लास ऑफ पीपल नाउ डेज डेवलप हो गए हैं जिनको ऑस्ट्रेलिया जाना है कनाडा जाना है वो एक फोर्थ क्लास ऑफ फोर्थ ग्रेड एक हमारे यहाँ आ गया है इफ यू सी इन स्कूल एवरी स्कूल आई गो टू बिग स्कूल आंसर हमारे तो मैक्सिमम बच्चे इंटरनेशनल के वहां पे मैम वहां पे तो फॉर दैट इफ समी वॉन्ट टू डू दैट तो उनको कहते हैं कि हाँ यू टेक योर कम्बिनेशन एंड प्लान प्लान योर स्टडीज अकॉर्डिंग ठीक है इवन इन इंडिया देर आर सम यूनिवर्सिटीज विच आर कमिंग एज अशोका यूनिवर्सिटी है जो मल्टी uh, डायमेंशनल बच्चों को ले रही है हम डिफरेंट तो उन यूनिवर्सिटीज में अगर किसी को जाना है तो दे कैन सेलेक्ट दीज सब्जेक्ट ऐसा नहीं हो सकता कि नहीं आप ये सब्जेक्ट ले रहे हो फिर कहो कि डी में चेंज करो बिकॉज डी यू इज एटोनॉमस बॉडी दे विल डिसाइड एज पर देअर ओन ठीक है And uh, sir, since you are developing that curriculum, I uh, would request you if you can share it on the groups. Yes, yes. Hello. Yes. Certainly, man. Certainly. Thank okay. you so much. I I will be uh, sharing a Google form for all of you. Please fill okay. that Google form so that you can get a certificate. ठीक है. अगर आपके पास वो Google form नहीं पहुँचता है किसी तरह से, तो please let me know. ठीक है. Ah, uh, please. I need some feedback from any one of you. Any one if is ready. <laughs> प्लीज सर अभी आपने जैसे बताया ये पीपीटी आप शेयर करेंगे एक्चुअली आई एम अ लाइब्रेरियन इन केवी इट्स अ वेरी ह्यूज डॉक्यूमेंट आई हैव नॉट रेड प्रॉपर्ली राइट नाउ ओके तो ये जो पीपीटी में आपने स्पेशली कुछ पेजेस मेंशन किए हैं सो दैट इजीली हम उसे आई आई कैन शेयर दिस पीपीटी दो आई हैव शेयर दिस पीपीटी ऑन डिफरेंट ग्रुप्स ऑलरेडी जब okay. मैंने बनाया था तभी कर दिया था डिफरेंट ग्रुप्स पे बट इफ यू वांट आई कैन शेयर विद यू ओनली सेंड मी वन हाई मैसेज आई विल शेयर द पीपीटी विद यू ओके the same recording also uh, recording will also be shared no no okay. one more thing sir have you taken any workshop or webinar on cuet also yes i have taken many webinar on cuet ma'am okay so in coming it is, uh, it is available on my youtube channel it is many of the webinars are available on my youtube channel you can go through all kindly please share the link also yes please. yes certainly certainly uh, thank you thank Excuse you so me. Much. yes ma'am please सर आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन अगर हम बात करें सब्जेक्ट कॉम्बिनेशन की उसमें ग्रुप वन में से तो लैंग्वेजेस बच्चे ने ले ली इफ अ नॉन मेडिकल चाइल्ड और अ मेडिकल चाइल्ड क्या मैं ओपन कर लूं क्या मैं पीपीटी ओपन कर लूं हां जी हां जी ज्यादा बेटर हो जाएगा जहां पे ग्रुप 4 दिया हुआ है साइंस वाला ग्रुप हां आई एम गोइंग ऑन दैट यस नाउ टेल मी सर इसमें जैसे फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री बायो या फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री मैथ्स बच्चे ने ले ली ठीक है और साथ में अगर वो कंप्यूटर साइंस लेना चाहता है तो वो चारों सब्जेक्ट उससे ग्रुप फोर में से ही आ जाएंगे हाँ, तो नहीं ले पाएगा मैं वो नहीं ले पाएगा ना इसका मतलब ये हाँ। वाली प्रॉब्लम आएगी बच्चा नहीं, 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 नहीं आएगी मैं बता रहा हूँ क्यों नहीं आएगी आपने देखा होगा मेरे साइड पे मैंने कहीं देखा था यहाँ देखिये यहाँ मैंने देखा था आप लोगों को टू प्लस फोर प्लस वन यानी दो एडिशनल ले पर वो ऑप्शन नहीं ले पाएगा मतलब सिक्स सब्जेक्ट नहीं ले पाएगा सेवन लेना पड़ेगा उसको फिर सेवन सब्जेक्ट लेना पड़ेगा हाँ जी हाँ जी जनरली मैम मुझे लगता नहीं कि बच्चा फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री मैथ्स हाँ लेते हैं ऐसे कंप्यूटर साइंस लेते हैं नो डाउट लेते हैं एक्चुअली सर जैसे अभी नेक्स्ट ईयर से हम लोग भी इसको जैसे हम लोग जैसे बनाते हैं एडमिशन पॉलिसी बनाते हैं क्लास इलेवन की तो उसमें अभी जब हम ये कमिंग सेशन के लिए देंगे बच्चों को ऑफर करेंगे सब आपको इसको ध्यान रखना पड़ेगा ध्यान रखना पड़ेगा तो ऐसे ही ग्रुप्स हमें देने बना के देने पड़ेंगे उनको या हम अपनी तरफ से कॉम्बिनेशन बना के दे सकते हैं क्योंकि यहाँ से आप एकदम से इतने सारे टीचर वो ग्रुप जो है उसके दो ग्रुप मिनिमम टच हो अलॉन्ग विद लैंग्वेज हाँ जी हाँ जी ये ध्यान रखना 
हाँ जी मतलब क्योंकि एक एकदम से इतने टीचर्स वो स्कूल नहीं कर पाएगा नहीं नहीं करना ही नहीं मैम क्यों हाँ करना जी है मैं बता रहा हूँ एक ये कंप्यूटर साइंस वाला आपने कहा तो मैंने ध्यान दिया अदरवाइज मैं देख रहा हूँ लगभग लगभग सारे कम्बिनेशन जो बच्चे आज के टाइम पे लेते हैं वो ले पाएंगे मैम ऐसा कुछ नहीं है हाँ जी कॉमर्स वालों के साथ कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है बट हाँ मैं ये मेरे नोटिस में आया था तो इसलिए हाँ मैंने डाउट था थैंक यू सर एक्सक्यूज मी सर यस मैम प्लीज सर इन आर स्कूल स्टूडेंट्स राइट नो दे आर हैविंग दीज सब्जेक्ट्स फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री मैथ्स एंड कंप्यूटर साइंस एज वेल ओके ठीक है तो इस दिस अभी ईयर तो, वी हैव इंट्रोड्यूस इन फैक्ट कंप्यूटर साइंस अभी तो कोई दिक्कत मैम इस ईयर कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है आप दे दिया ये बच्चे अगली बार 12th में जाएंगे कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है जो नेक्स्ट बच्चे 12th में सॉरी 11th में आपके आएंगे वहां पे ध्यान रखिएगा बस बिकॉज अगर आपने फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री मैथ्स एंड कंप्यूटर साइंस दे दिया तो फिर बच्चे को एक और सब्जेक्ट आपको एडिशनल बर्डन देना पड़ेगा बिकॉज तभी वी डू हैव एडिशनल सब्जेक्ट एज वेल सिक्स सब्जेक्ट ए आई ए आई आई टी एन एफ एम एम स्किल सब्जेक्ट भी वो आप वो आप दे सकते हैं इफ यू हैव दैट विल बी द पार्ट ऑफ समवेयर इंटर डिस्प्लिनरी वहां से आप दे दीजिए ठीक है ओके ओके ठीक थैंक यू लेकिन बस ये ध्यान रखें कि अब बच्चे के पास सात सब्जेक्ट हो जाएंगे बिकॉज दो लैंग्वेज है वो बर्डन थोड़ा सा ज्यादा हो जाएगा तो माय रिकमेंडेशन हमें ऐसा नहीं करना चाहिए बिकॉज पांच के साथ छह ही मुश्किल होता था अब दो लैंग्वेज है फिर उसके बाद भी एक एडिशनल देंगे तो बच्चे के पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से बच्चा प्रिपेयर फॉर सीयूटी बच्चा प्रिपेयर फॉर नीट जेई तो उनके लिए एक बर्डन ज्यादा हो जाएगा ठीक है नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन प्लीज एनी संजय सर प्लीज आप कुछ पूछना चाह रहे हैं नहीं सर मैं पूछना ही चाह रहा हूँ सर हाँ सर आपने इतना बड़ा डॉक्यूमेंटेशन को इतने आसान तरीके से प्रेजेंट कर दिया और हम लोग भी समझ में भी आ गया सर इसके लिए बहुत बहुत मतलब थैंक यू सो मच और क्योंकि वरना हम लोग ना टाइम नहीं मिलता इतना पढ़ नहीं पाता कि 600 पेज कैसे पढ़ेंगे और उसमें साइंस मान लो मैं कॉमर्स का टीचर हूँ अकाउंटेंट भी पढ़ाता हूँ तो उसमें एस भी है साइंस भी है मैथमेटिक्स भी है ऐसा लगता है की छोटी क्लास के लिए है लेकिन जो आपने जीत दिया है सर इतने समराइज किया है इसको सर भाई मतलब थैंक यू सो मच सर सर मैंने कोशिश की है कि विच इज विच इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर एवरी वन मैं उस डॉक्यूमेंट को चार बार पढ़ चुका हूं सर पहली बार पढ़ा कुछ चीजें निकली उसको पीपीटी बनाई दो चार प्रेजेंटेशन लिए देन देर आर लॉट ऑफ क्वेरीज फिर मैंने आपने देखा होगा जिसने भी जो क्वेरी पूछी वो उसके नेक्स्ट राइट पे अवेलेबल थी जिसने भी तो वो सब होता गया ना अब तो तेईस ट्वेंटी थ्री सॉरी थर्टी थ्री थर्टी फोर जब हमारे सेशन हो चुके हैं तो ऑलरेडी ये चीजें कवर हो चुकी है तो माइंड मेकअप हो जाएगा हम लोगों का भी माइंड मेकअप हो गया कि भी हम इसको आगे कैसे इम्प्लीमेंट करना है हाँ। जैसे, जैसे मैंने भी देखा कि उसमें हमें पहले से तैयारी कर लेनी चाहिए की इवेल्यूशन का अगर कोर्स होता हो तो अगर हो सके तो आप हमें बताइएगा सर देखिये हर स्कूल में ए आज के टाइम पे चल रहा है आई चल रहा है जनरली ये चीजें स्कूल में चल रही हैं। आप लोग के स्कूल में फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री के लैब अटेंडेंट होते हैं तो आप इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स से रिलेटेड कोई सब्जेक्ट ले सकते हैं ठीक है उसके बाद हर स्कूल में आजकल माली वाली का सिस्टम आजकल हर जगह होता है तो आप कुछ गार्डनिंग वगैरह का एक सब्जेक्ट ले सकते हैं दैट कैन बी वेरी गुड ठीक है मैंने आप लोग को बोला कि इफ एनी वन ऑफ यू वॉन्ट टू इम्प्लीमेंट फाइनेंशियल लिटरेसी इन योर स्कूल इन एनी क्लास सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन तो प्लीज लेट मी नो आई हैव अ रेडी करिकुलम I have a ready book also. मैं आपको बुक दूंगा मेरे बेटी की लिखी हुई एक बुक है बहुत अच्छे से स्टोरी फॉर्म में छोटी सी बुक है आप उसको पढ़िए देखिएगा सिक्स क्लास में उसको लगाइए बच्चों को पढ़ने को बोलिए बच्चा विल बी वेरी हैप्पी तो इस तरह से हम कर सकते हैं ठीक है हरिंदर जी प्लीज गुड इवनिंग सर गुड इवनिंग सर आई थिंक Uh, in the benefit of teaching fraternity so you are uh, uh, i would like to invite you to my vidyalaya if you are uh, visiting towards chandigarh or ambala then yes, you are most sir, welcome i think next ma- next month i am uh, going to panipat and chandigarh also so, so if you will spare uh, around two sir. hours for our vidyalaya also uh, to please sir bataiye mujhe aap uh, we can talk on phone और मुझे बता दीजिए सर आई कॉल यू आई विल कॉल यू टुवर्ड टुवर्ड इन द मॉर्निंग यस सर एक व्हाट्सएप मैसेज भी डाल देंगे तो इट विल बी ओके फॉर मी डेफिनेटली सर डेफिनेटली ओके सर थैंक यू सर थैंक यू वेरी मच सर आपका हृदय से आभार आपने बहुत अच्छे से समझाया इस चीजों को थैंक यू सर थैंक यू मैंने जब जब एनसीएफ 2020 एनसीएफ 2023 देखा था 615 से अधिक का तो मैं सोच रहा था कि इसको पढूंगा कैसे कब मेरे को टाइम मिलेगा इसको पढ़ने का नहीं सर सब है सर थैंक यू वेरी मच यू यू पीपल आर वर्किंग इन द स्कूल आप लोग बच्चों के साथ इतना कर रहे हैं सर वो वही बहुत बड़ा काम है सर बिकॉज़ आई हैव वर्क विद द स्कूल टू आई नो इस समय जो टीचिंग में है क्या होता है सर आज के 50 साल 25 साल पहले जो टीचिंग में थे ना तो वहां कम से कम एक चीज था कि हमें क्रेडिट मिलता था
ट्रेड मिलता था हमें रिस्पेक्ट मिलता था अब हमें वो रिस्पेक्ट भी चला गया सोसाइटी वो नहीं दे रही है पैसे भी नहीं दे रही है और बर्डन हमारे पास वो आ गया है जो कॉपरेट वाला है लेकिन जो हमारे घर के लोग हैं वो वही एक्सपेक्ट करते हैं कि ये तो दो बजे घर आ जाते हैं तो वो ना बड़ा एक टीचर की लाइफ कितनी वो हो चुकी है वो आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड बिकॉज आई हैर्क एज ए टीचर इन द स्कूल तो यू पीपल आर वर्किंग मीन्स मतलब वो समस्याओं का जो है ना वो लोग सबको पुलिस वालों की समस्या को समझते हैं किसान की समस्या को समझते हैं हाँ किसान ऐसा करते हैं वैसा करते हैं बट नो बडी अंडरस्टैंडिंग द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ टीचर्स वट टीचर्स आर फेसिंग देर आर लॉट ऑफ एक्सपेक्टेशन फ्रॉम द टीचर्स बट जिससे किसी कोई एक्सपेक्टेशन रखनी है तो उनको कुछ हमें देना भी तो होता है ना वो नहीं हो रहा सोसाइटी से दीप्ति मैम प्लीज सर यू आर शोर स्लाइड रिगार्डिंग द टाइमिंग टाइम टेबल विच मैन फ्रॉम एट एम टू फोर थर्टी फाइव डॉक्यूमेंट ऑफ द एन सी एफ उन्होंने जो बना के दिया है मैंने आपको वो दिखाया है की दे हैव सजेस्टेड दिस थिंग दे हैव सजेस्टेड फॉर लॉन्गर पीरियड दे हैव सजेस्टेड फॉर लॉन्गर डे दे आर सेंग दैट how it will be implemented i told you that in years to come everywhere they have written in years to come bar bar unhone likha hai wo expect kar rahe hain ki hamara school system badhte jayenge ek school mein 400 500 hi bacche honge ye jo 2 2000 school bachcho wale jo school ka system hai na mai ab dheere dheere khatam ho jayega to ye hoga bas ye kal nahi hone wala don't worry about that kal hamara school 4 baje tak nahi hone wala abhi aise hi chalega jaise chal raha hai aur theek hai and thank you for such a beautiful session sir it was actually very knowledgeable thank you ma'am thank you thank very much thank you jyoti ma'am please you want to say something ah uh, thank you sir for uh, such an informative session or uh, i do agree with you what you said that we are getting less respect more burden uh, these days but uh, i have a doubt whether this these uh, efforts will help in removing this dummy system of schools or not नहीं पढ़ा पाते कि बच्चे को डमी वाले स्कूल में जाके पढ़ना या ट्यूशन में पढ़ना पड़ता है वहां भी एक टीचर है वही पढ़ा रहा है ऐसा हम क्या नहीं कर पाते या ऐसा हम क्या फिजिक्स में नहीं पढ़ा पाते कि बच्चे को ट्यूशन में जाके पढ़ना है कहीं कुछ तो गड़बड़ हो रही है क्या क्यों हम नहीं कर पा रहे और मुझे पता है उसमें टीचर्स की गलती नहीं है मैम सारा ना सिस्टम सिस्टम ऐसा बन गया है कि टीचर ड्रामा भी कराएगा डांस भी कराएगा एनुअल फंक्शन भी कराएगा वो भी कराना है वो एक्सपेक्टेशन है फिर वो ऐसा कैसे पढ़ाएगा जैसा वो ट्यूशन वाला पढ़ा रहा है बिकॉज वो तो केवल अकाउंट से पढ़ा रहा है तो वो ना मैच मैंने आपको बताया ना कि हमारे से एक्सपेक्टेशन बहुत ज्यादा है और हमें वो अब हम कहते हैं वहां पर जो मैंने देखा है मैम मेरा बच्चा खुद एन में जाता है और वहां मैं टीचर्स से मिलकर आया हूं उन टीचर्स को मैंने देखा है किसी को दो साल का भी एक्सपीरियंस नहीं है कॉलेज से आए हुए लड़के हैं पढ़ा रहे हैं और स्कूल में जाता हूं तो वहां पे टीचर्स बीस बीस साल एक्सपीरियंस वाले टीचर हैं पूरा एफर्ट्स कर रहे हैं लेकिन डिफरेंस क्या रह जाता है डिफरेंस ये रह जाता है कि जो स्कूल की टीचर है मतलब मैं बोलूंगा तो फिर आपको लगेगा सम ऑफ यू मे बी द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ द स्कूल इतने कागज के काम है इतने कागज के काम है कि दे आर ओनली कम्प्लीटिंग द पेपर्स they are only completing the papers or as compared to the coaching centers where they are working on the assignments they are working on the tests they are working on the papers so that is so that is a difference uh, kaise kam hoga kahan hoga i don't know lekin uh, we have to work for that we all have to work together we have to understand the importance of the school because coaching center marks dida sakta hai jo ye na ye jo insaan banne ki jo sabse jo happiness hai jo growth hai ओवरऑल ग्रोथ वो हमारा स्कूल सिस्टम ही दिला सकता है वो कोचिंग सेंटर नहीं दिला सकता इफ यू गो टू आई आई टी हर बच्चा वहां शाम को खेल रहा होता है हर बच्चा वहां खेल रहा होता है लेकिन एक बारहवीं क्लास के बच्चे को हम ऐसा सिस्टम में डाल देते हैं कि नहीं जी वो सुबह स्कूल जाएगा शाम को एलन जाएगा मैंने खुद कर रखा है अपने बच्चे को मैम नो ऑफिस क्या करूंगा सिस्टम है मुझे भी अपने बच्चे को पढ़ाना है कराना है लेकिन वो ठीक है तो आई होप कुछ समय आएगा तो धीरे धीरे चीजें ठीक होंगी सर अब तो स्कूल को एक्सप्लेन टीचर भी नहीं चाहिए नया ट्रेन चल रहा है स्कूल का है क्या हो रहा है सर स्कूल में नया ट्रेन चल रहा है कि नए नए मतलब एक्सप्लेन टीचर नहीं चाहिए स्कूल्स को 
हाँ वही वही है सर अब देखते हैं कैसे होगा ठीक है सर क्या है कि हम सिस्टम के ऊपर कमेंट नहीं कर सकते जो सिस्टम है हमें उसी में बेस्ट करने की कोशिश करना है आई यू ऑलवेज की वी कैन नॉट चेंज द सिस्टम बिकॉज वी आर द इंडिविजुअल बट ये है कि हाँ जो सिस्टम है जो हमें मिला है उसमें हम हम एज अ बेस्ट क्या कर सकते हैं और जिससे हम सोसाइटी के लिए कुछ कर पाए बच्चों के लिए कुछ कर पाए सिस्टम के लिए कुछ कर पाए वॉट एवर बेस्ट थैंक यू वेरी मच एवरी वन फॉर ज्वाइनिंग मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगा आप लोगों ने अपना संडे मुझे दिया और आई होप की आपने जो दो घंटे दिए हैं ये दो घंटे मैंने आपका गुड इवनिंग सर एम आई ऑडिबल ना हो यस मैम यू आर ऑडिबल ना हो आई एम ज्योति बत्रा सर ओके हेलो मैम लेकिन ये कुछ उडीस बत्रा के नाम से आया था या 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 सर जस्ट आई जस्ट वांट टू थैंक यू फॉर सच अ वंडरफुल सेशन आई हैड टू गो फॉर सम वर्क बट आई वाज नॉट एबल टू लीव द सेशन बिकॉज़ इट वाज सो इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इंफॉर्मेटिव सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर कंडक्टिंग सच सेशंस Thank you. So ma'am. nice Thank of you, you that much. you are taking so much of pain for all of us. No, ma'am. I'm doing my work, ma'am. I'm doing my work. <laughs> I want to reach more and more people. That is the reason I'm doing this thing. I only request you all. कि हाँ आपको अच्छा लगा तो आप अच्छे comments groups पे जहाँ से भी आपको link मिले हैं वहाँ लिखिएगा so that कि I can reach more and more people. So that is the only thing I can request. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Sure, Excuse sir. Me, sir. Yes, please. Thank you, sir. So please share the link of your uh, channel also so that yeah, we can. Yeah, I I will share three things. Ah, uh, one is the Google form for the certificate. One is the PPT. If any one of you want, I will share the recording of this session and the uh, my channel where I will be putting the this report. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes. Are you going to share this all these? Ah, uh, I will share on the same number where you got the link. आप लोग को लिंक कैसे मिला था व्हाट्सएप से मिला था उसी पे मिल जाएगा ठीक है नहीं मिलेगा तो पीपीटी आल्सो यू विल बी शेयरिंग या आई विल बी शेयरिंग द पीपीटी मैम मैं तो चाहता हूं आप लोग इसको यूज करें या प्लीज कोई कोई कॉपीराइट नहीं गुड लाइक टू ओके सर थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर द वंडरफुल सेशन इनसाइटफुल सेशन एंड योर ब्यूटीफुल कमेंट हैज रियली यू नो ब्राइटन अप आवर माइंड दैट स्कूल इज द प्लेस वेयर लाइफ स्किल्स कैन बी इनकल्केटेड अमंग द स्टूडेंट्स Thank, thank you so much thank, thank you ma'am thank, so thank you very much and earlier also i received your ppt it was really helpful and uh, this time again we have and we'll definitely go through it and i am sure that our teachers will be benefited and our team uh, shijain public school they will be benefited with this uh, whatever material we share with us yes ma'am thank you ma'am thank you very much ma thank you yeah. any time anything you require from my please let me thank you sir sure